Hey folks, welcome back to Ace Attorney. So, we just had a pretty good day in court, and we have to go investigate again after some things were revealed last time. Um, also, Will just, has, just said something about, um, about an incident that happened five years ago, I think? Because he said that Jack Hammer and uh, Vasquez um, started at Global Studios five years ago at the same time? I think it's what he said. But that might be suspicious, I don't really know. Anyway, so we've already talked to him. Let's try to go to the studio. Okay, we're at the main gate. Okay. <laughs> the old windbag sure is quiet today. Oh, well, that's a... That's new for her. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think her guard's down. Uh, yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station, <laughs> if we wanted. Oh, I wouldn't push it. You eat, you die! <laughs> She's alive! Okay, does she have something to say? Because I know that she was a big fan of, of Jack. But what about the others? Um, I was wondering about Dee Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio has big wigs. Love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Okay. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal? He's soft, a pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. I guess that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Yeah, she treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Yeah, he seems like that kind of guy, doesn't he? Yeah. I can see that. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? Oh. Oh, Maya. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Oh, Maya, you're so young. Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. Yeah, I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when you're older, you know? Um, <laughs> okay. Um, about Mr. Hammer. Urgh! I heard about what you said today! Cheeky whippersnapper! Poor old Hammer! You dragged it- You dragged his star down from the sky and stomp on it! Calling him a criminal, a thief! I- I- I will forget this! Oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper! My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing! Why would he steal a Powers costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low, it's impossible! Anyway... Uh, do we have anything to show her? I don't think so, do we? Um, uh, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. You know, let's just move. We can come back to this later if we need to. Ooh, let, yeah, let's go here. This is where we found the sleeping pills, too, so... Let's see if we find anything. I guess they're not filming today, either. I did want to see them filming. Just one time. This trial will be over by and done by tomorrow. You can see them film later. I guess. Aha. Uh -huh. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Aha. Uh -huh. I wonder if there are any other clues lying around. Oh, our boy's here! Oh no, why are you mad? Oh. <laughs> no, no, no touching! Oh! No, don't be mad. <laughs> oh, sorry, pal. Oh, I haven't done his voice in a while. My voice is already... not great. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean... I almost had a heart attack! <laughs> I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on the table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. 
yeah, my voice for Gumshoe was already not good. Uh, so let's just- let's just say this voice is not gonna get any better. Sound good? Yeah? Okay. As long as we can all agree on that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how you doing, sweetie? It's been a while, what's up? So, you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe? What are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in dude's time, pal. I'm forgetting what he sounded like. What I- or, or at least what I made him sound like, uh-oh. <laughs> well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, alright? So the food on this plate has been laced with sleeping pills. Okay, so we were right then. So we were right then. That, uh, the pills were slipped to him somehow. Yeah. Looks like it. Steak plate. You know, that bothered me too still. On it are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. What is with the steak bones? What is this? Like, that's gotta be something, right? Yeah, how's... Uh, okay, investigation, sure. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it. But I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed his paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Coffee in it. I don't- oh, this accent, what is this? <laughs> Whoa. Let's talk about Burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups, bottles... Say, whatever happened to that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills. Well, I got some good new news for you about that. They found the victim Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So, that means... Yep. It sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Okay. So I guess it's already covered. Alright, I mean, I guess there's nothing else to ask about. Can we examine? Should we do that? Um... Actually, let's go... Let's check the dressing room, actually. Maybe there's something in there. Oh, oh, hi. Uh... Oh, hello. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP's innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! I mean, that's probably for the best with all the controversy surrounding it. Yikes. Okay, so what do you know? <sighs> Alright. Uh, I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Uh, yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true, then. The rumor? Yeah. Miss Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on the hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Oh. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. 
Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the, the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during the filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? What was that trailer part of the film set, then? Oh, I guess I'll have to go look at that. Okay. Ooh, five years ago, we need to ask about that. Okay, but first, we'll do this. What do you mean, the last deal samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed Steel Samurai's death warrant. No. No! Also, I hear that Glo Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Okay. And what about that? Why aren't they going to make kids' shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want Steel Samurai around anymore. Yeah, I figured. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Uh, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Oh, oh, shit. Uh... Well, it's gotta be the book, right? Because, like, this is only one kid. You know, and... He's already so affected by this, you know? Yeah. And this is... A fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show wouldn't be- shouldn't be cancelled just, just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand be that better than anyone. Yeah. You and your trading cards, right? You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Okay. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell happened? Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died. And it was Mr. Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway. The producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But... It was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen if Two's career for work got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldback. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking her. Well, I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, if she'll talk. Oh, that's it? It's all you have for us. I mean, okay. I guess that means we'll have to go to the gate again? Okay. I mean, I was thinking of going back to Studio 2, but... Maybe she has some more for us. What? You're still sinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take it over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer! 
How do they think they made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth, froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Okay, well, you know something. Tell me about it. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Yeah. Who told? Who did you hear that from? Uh, I, uh, huh? Nichols. Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. The assistant we talked to. Uh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the, in the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Hoiber snappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that. And the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun. Uh, no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Ham- Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume. Okay, well, during the trial we used as the sleeping pills. Hold on. Wait. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Okay, because, like, we- to answer this question in court, we use the bottle, but I think actually the plate might be a better... a better thing to show. Yeah. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes. So? This is the plate he, that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. Huh? I bet Powers put it in there himself. Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that- okay, now here's where it is. I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in. Yeah. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. Yeah. I didn't think she would take that well. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Oh. Miss Oldbag. Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became for a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant to harm anyone. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. A photograph? Oh no, I- Oh my god. Okay. Uh, wait, wait a second. This is the picture. That's horrific. Is that- is this the trailer in Studio 2? It looks like it. Hammer was supposed to be- was supposed to fight with the bad guy and help those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. Oh. But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. 
Oh my god. Okay, so this tells me we need to go to trailer two. To Studio Two, like right now. Because what the hell is actually happening, right? Um yeah, let's Oh wait, are we Think back, Nick. To the day of the murder. Mystery Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. And then he left from here to go to Studio 2. Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him. Like the director or the producer. Oh. Did you see it? Hey, Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I am watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Okay. See, it's already making me nervous, because, like, I... I saw it in the preview, but... But look at this. Did anyone else spot this? Because that's the same part in the photo where... Ugh. I can't believe it was right in front of us, you know? Holy shit. Okay, well, anyway... Um, excuse me. Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder, and- Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick! She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. Oh, so she's not gonna talk? Come on. Uh, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel, the Steel Samurai! I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You- You did it! Nick, she did it! She's the killer! My fey blood speaks to me! I know it! I know it! Okay, I don't think we're getting anywhere. Should I even ask about the next prompt? Actually, you know what? No, fuck this. We still. Have... What if we. Sh Can we show her something? You know what? No. We'll show her this. Yeah. She's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I. well. Old bag? Uh, old. She means the security lady, Miss Oldbagnik. Can't Phoenix get it together? Right, uh, anyway. Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to, to control Mr. Hammer. The win. The, huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The win. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more, inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer! I... I guess she needs some privacy? Something is... I don't know, I feel weird about this. I don't have a good feeling about this at all. Ah, huh, you came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Uh, Miss Vasquez. You were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? 
That's why he was doing kids' shows for Petty Change. Huh. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place, rightful place as a star! Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But... You were the cause! You pressured him! And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me? What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? Oh no, she's evil. <laughs> what do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? No, it wasn't on purpose. What? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? Uh oh, I don't like this face at all. That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Huh. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident. Oh. Well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo th into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? What? This is valuable! Whoa! Hey! Ah, oh, okay. I had a bad feeling. What the hell? Um... Who the hell are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. No, what, uh, what the hell? Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No! I'm- I'm sorry, what? Oh, thank god. Hold it right there! I heard everything, pal! D. Vasquez? You are coming down to the precinct with me now! Ah. My hero. I love him. Huh. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, you okay, pal? Oh, I'm so okay now that you're here. Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe? Thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared. Huh? Hey, don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Ah, he's so cool about it. Det Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Aww. Okay. I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll, we'll run into each other again soon. Oh, well, I hope so. Oh, bye. Well, Nick? 
It looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. D. Vasquez. Oh, was that all the investigation? Shit. Okay. Um, it seems like we've been recording for a bit, so I might stop here, actually. I know it's taken me a while to finish this case, but we're finally doing it, and and I guess the trial will wrap up um, in the next episode or two, and that's very exciting. I don't know if we're ready, but I guess we'll have to be, so... So yeah, I guess we'll figure it out uh, in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.